This is uh, the Real Mother Goose Clock Book. Actually, it's Lesson 90. But they're talking about measuring turns and they're talking about hands on a clock. So I'm using what I have. So let's open up and we'll find our clock. We'll start at 12 o'clock. And um, they wanna know first, how many degrees are in a circle? So they talk about with a clock, oops, every hour going 360 degrees. So that minute hand just went around 360 degrees. That's a full turn. So there are 360 degrees in a complete circle. Um, what about if it was 1215? How many degrees would that be? So 90 degrees, right? It's a 90 degree angle. And if it goes to 1230, it's 180 degrees. So that's halfway around. 180 is half of 360. And then over here, it's pretty close here. We're going to pretend like the 12, the hour hand just stays there. It's 270 degrees. So that's three fourths of a complete circle. So 90, 180, 370. And then if we finish up, we get our full 360 degrees, okay? So uh, now we're gonna drive some cars around. But the key to life here is remembering that there are 360 degrees in a circle, okay? So think about that clock and maybe next time I'll read you the story that goes with it. Okay, um, got a little graph paper here. I love my graph paper. North, east, south, west. So there's my compass rows. This way's left over here. This way's right over here. Left, right. Okay. So first uh, example one says, Lila. Here's Lila. Do you see Lila the turtle? She's traveling north. Okay. So she's going that direction. At the light, she turned 90 degrees to the left. So let's have her start over here. So she's going along to the grocery store to get turtle food. Her little legs move. Okay, she comes to the light and she turns 90 degrees to the left. Okay, she goes that way. She traveled one block. Choop! She sped up. She's going fast there. Uh, to the next intersection. At the intersection, she turned 90 degrees to the left. So remember, this is her little left flipper. So she's going to turn that way. Which direction is she traveling now? So north, west, south, right? And seriously, draw yourself a picture and you don't have to get a turtle, but make a little sketch. And um, it really does help. Sometimes I have to do that anyway. Okay, so uh, you see how they have the sketch in the solution? So that's really helpful. Um, let's go to example two. Um, we've got two guys, so Andy the alligator, so here's Andy, and here's Barney the hippopotamus, uh, are both facing north, okay, so they're both facing north, we'll put them over here on the line, like they're going to have a race. Andy the alligator made a quarter turn to face east, okay, so he's facing east now, so he went 90 degrees. And Barney turned counterclockwise until he faced east. Okay, so we want him to turn the other way, opposite of a clock, so counterclockwise. Um, so he's gonna turn until he faces that way. So he's gonna go 90, 180, 370, sorry, 270 degrees. So he made three quarters of a turn around. He would have been easier for him to turn the other way, but maybe he wanted to talk to Andy along the way. So 270 degrees for Barney, 90 degrees for Andy. So they're both facing the same direction, but Barney took the long way to get there, right? So he turned three quarters of a turn. Make sense? Okay. This isn't hard stuff, but it really does help to draw it out. 
Okay, so next, this is the hard one. And it's not really hard, but I don't know. You just have to think about it a minute. Okay, so Elizabeth ran a lap around the park and she made six turns to the left and no turns to the right. What was the average number of degrees of each turn? So we don't know, right? So we're gonna assume that the park is kind of shaped like this, right? She had to make six turns. She starts here, she goes one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? So that's her turns. Um, okay. Here's Elizabeth. She's gonna drive up here. If she turned 90 degrees, she would go on that path. So she doesn't quite turn 90 degrees. She's turned something less than 90, right? So I know she's gonna turn that way, something less than 90. That way, something less than 90. That way, something less than 90. Something less, something less until she's back where she started, okay? Um, she had six turns, correct? So 360, I wanna know what each turn was. If there were six of them, can I say, oh, six goes into 36 six times. So, this turn right here, it's less than 90. It actually ends up being 60 degrees. So we can do that same thing here. If she had continued going straight, that would be her path. But she didn't, she turned. She didn't turn all the way to 90, because that would be her path. So this is what she did right now. This is her path. So it's less than 90, and it ends up being 60 degrees. If you can think about how many turns you have versus the entire circle is 360, the math is really easy. You just divide it. So that's what they did. So let's say somebody did um, four turns. I'm going to flip that over. Uh oh, bad paper. So if they had four turns, 360 degrees total, they had four turns. Each turn's gonna be 90 degrees. If they had 18 turns, I could stick that 18 in there. Let's see, let's do that over here. 18 turns, 360 degrees. Each turn would be 20 degrees. So that would be a lot of turns, but I don't know, sometimes it might happen. So that's, the, that's how you, measure turns. Um, a lot of it, if they're finding the average, it's not so much measuring. When you are finding which way they're facing, draw yourself a little sketch, just like this in the book, and I think that'll be really helpful.